How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Nintendo Direct leak discussion video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at another supposed Nintendo Direct leak. As always, and I cannot stress this enough, we have no idea if this leak is true or not, so make sure you guys take it with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. If you'd like to read along my talk, you find a link to the original post in the description right down below, and now with all that out of the way, I have to tell you guys where this leak came from. So guys, this leak was sent in to me by one of my subscribers on my Discord server, so if you guys haven't already joined up, I highly recommend you do so. As of now, we have over 3100 members always talking about Super Smash Bros Ultimate as well as everything Nintendo, and if you guys ever want to talk to me directly, send me a leak or the evidence for there is the best place to do so. You can find the link to my Discord in both the description as well as the pinned comment, and it is 100% free to join, so I hope to see you there. Not only that, guys, for those of you guys who don't know, we are officially going to be having a Lax Chris Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament, and you sign up through the Discord. So if you guys do want to take part in the Lax Chris Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament, you go to my Discord and you can sign up there. It is 100% free to join, and I will be giving away a prize to the winner, so I hope that you guys go ahead and enter. Now, the leak that we are going to be taking a look at today comes from pastebin.com, and it is a leak of the entire script of the upcoming Nintendo Direct, so if you guys want to leave, go ahead and do so now, otherwise we are going to jump right into the newest leak. So guys, like I said, this entire script was posted on pastebin.com, and it is titled, Direct Script Leak. 11719 and it is posted by a guest. It starts by saying opening direct animation. Gameplay of Mario Super Slugger's Fever Pitch with no voiceover. Title screen of Mario Super Slugger's Fever Pitch and it has a release date of June 2019. Shinya Takahashi appears. Takahashi, hello. My name is Shinya Takahashi and as always, we'll be taking this Nintendo Direct journey together. Just now, you got a first look at a new game. I'm pleased to confirm that the crazy sports action of Mario Super Sluggers is now in production for the Nintendo Switch. There's plenty more to see and talk about with the game, but that will have to wait for now. Next, let's go over some quick headlines for the Nintendo 3DS. Please take a look. Hey, it's me. I cut out the 3DS stuff because no new game announcements are made and it's kinda boring. If you want to see this part, let me know, and now let's get back to the script. Takahashi, welcome back. That's all we have for 3DS, so let's move on to the Nintendo Switch. Please take a look. Snap, Switch noise. Headline, Smashing New Fighters. Narrator, you may recall that two previous characters were announced as DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Piranha Plant from the Super Mario series and Joker from the Persona series. We hope both will bring lots of incredible fun into your epic battles, and we'd like to share some extra information. Piranha Plant is scheduled for February 3rd. Physical owners of the game will have until January 31st to register their Smash copies in order to receive Piranha Plant for free. If you bought digital, you're already set for Piranha Plant. More DLC is planned for the future, and we'll be letting you know whenever we have news to share. Otherwise, Piranha Plant will be available for purchase on February 3rd. Headline, New Boards and New Fun. Narrator, Super Mario Party is getting some new content. Two new boards will be added to the game on January 23rd. Haunted Mansion will feature a changing board that forces players to think several turns ahead. The other board, Jungle Adventure, will have many branching paths. Pick a path to victory. New content will continue to come to make sure that the Mario Party doesn't end until you've said so. Headline, New Games Approaching Fast. When it comes to speed, there is only one hedgehog to talk to, and it's time for that hedgehog to bring some of his previous adventures back to the Nintendo Switch. Sonic and the Secret Rings, Sonic and the Black Knight, and Sonic Colors. These three games from the Nintendo Wii family of systems are back and better than ever. Detached Joy-Cons allow for faithful recreations of the classic motion controls, while Joy-Cons attached to the console allow for playing the games with no motion controls. Choose to play Sonic how you want to. In addition, the multiplayer modes are back with online functionality. B 
be on the lookout for Sonic the Hedgehog we visited when it races onto the Nintendo Switch exclusively on May 21st, 2019. That reminds me, make sure to pick up Team Sonic Racing that day as well. When playing Team Sonic Racing on a Switch with Sonic the Hedgehog we visited save data, alternate costumes for characters based on their appearances in those games will be unlocked. Both will make fast-paced must-haves on May 21st, 2019. Headline, Reaching a Fever Pitch Narrator, Mario Super Slugger's Fever Pitch is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Enter the ballpark to enjoy this great pastime of baseball once again. With fan favorites and newcomers alike, there's plenty of ball players this time around. We've upgraded plenty of characters to captain status, so you'll have more freedom with your team. Every character will have an exclusive batting and pitching ability that can be activated by reaching a fever pitch. This meter in the bottom left will fill as you play the game and will grow more when you perform great plays. When the time is right, unleash your fever pitch and rush to victory. Want to see some of the new players? As you can see, Rosalina, the Koopalings, Professor E. Gad, Pauline and even Captain Toad are among the people getting ready. New captains include Rosalina, Pauline, Captain Toad, and even King K. Rule. Once you've picked your all-star team, head into the online and play baseball matches against players from around the world. We have a few more secrets regarding the online, but we can't discuss that right now. In addition, save Baseball Island from Bowser's Evil Clutch in the new story mode. His powerful baseball team and their mystical equipment threaten the island and you must unite the captains. Build your team and defeat Bowser's minions. Only you can save baseball for everyone. There's lots to see and do in Mario Super Slugger's Fever Pitch and it'll come out swinging this June. Headline, A Wonderful Team Reunites The Wonderful 101 is reuniting on the Nintendo Switch. It's time to defend Earth once more from the Girthric Federation with the Wonderful Ones. The game comes fully loaded with all the original content, along with some extra missions to take on in the multiplayer mode. The Wonderful 101 will also feature a New Game Plus mode that will allow you to keep any Wonderful Ones you had in the previous run. In this mode, not only will the game go up an extra difficulty level, but extra enemies and optional missions will appear. It'll truly be a battle worthy of mankind when the game morphs on the Switch later this year. But that's not all, we're happy to announce Wonderful 101, the Greater Galactic Coalition, the sequel to the Wonderful 101, is in production for the Nintendo Switch. We can't say anything more as the details are top secret, but stay tuned Wonderful Ones. Headline, The World Famous Fighter is here. Tekken 7 is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Face off in global battles as Heihachi, Yoshimitsu, Nina Williams, and more in this game. In this version of Tekken 7, all previous DLC is included, so no extra downloads are needed. Use abilities new to the Tekken series, such as Rage Art and Power Crush to ensure your victory. And with online battles, the one-on-one -on -one action never ends. We also got a surprise guest coming in. That's right. Little Mac from the Punch-Out! series is coming to the battle the Fighters of Tekken. With him, a new boxing ring stage in the center of the Bronx in New York will be added. This is truly an all-star cast of brilliant fighters both old and new. All this and more from Tekken 7 when it pummels your expectations later this year. There was also a semi-long line of other ports and smaller games that I just cut. These games are usually filled last anyway, so more will likely be added. Demon X Machinima is here, and it'll just save you the trouble. It comes March 12th, time is approximately 5 minutes. Headline, A New Way to Craft You already know a lot about the colorful Yoshi's Crafted World game coming to the Nintendo Switch, but we've left out something a little special. Alongside the game, an optional Nintendo Labo Yoshi kit will release to make the game all the more personal. Construct an adorable Yoshi hat and shoes, and build a set of colorful eggs for your Joy-Cons. Set your Switch in front of your face by sliding it into the Yoshi nose that hangs in front of your head and play. The feet connect wirelessly with the Joy-Cons in your eggs, allowing for your movement to be taken easily, and motion controls in your eggs will allow you to throw like only a Yoshi can. It's the craftiest way to play Yoshi's Crafted World, and look out for the Yoshi Kit and Yoshi's Crafted World when they pop up on your Switch this spring. 
Headline, Trouble Comes in All Sizes Following Mario and Rabbids Kingdom battle, the denizens of the Mushroom Kingdom were getting used to their new friends, the Rabbids. Of course, peace in the Mushroom Kingdom never lasts. A strange group of creatures known as the Dark Teensies came from another world and quickly obtained the supermerged technology, creating a brand new army of Rabbids. It's up to Mario and the rest of the gang to team up once more and defeat the Dark Teensies before the Mushroom Kingdom falls to their rule. They're going to need some help from two legendary experts in fighting Dark Teensies, but we can't see any more at this time. Be on the lookout for more information about Mario and Rabbids 2, a teensy bit of trouble later this year. Headline, a Nintendo Cornucopia. When it comes to bringing together the family for Nintendo fun, look no further than Nintendo Land, the grand reopening. Revamped games from the previous titles return, while new titles come in to make the party fresh. Whether it's leading an army of Pikmin, riding the waves of Wave Race, or stepping into the Punch-Out ring, there's plenty to do alone and together in this expansive park. More music and other collectibles will allow your theme park to overflow with Nintendo memorabilia and show off your true Nintendo love. Online and local wireless play will allow you to find friends to play with anytime, anywhere. Be on the lookout for Nintendo Land, the grand reopening when it lights up the Nintendo Switch Fall 2019. Headline, A Dream Come True The resident hero of the Glade of Dreams is coming onto the Nintendo Switch with a new collection. Rayman Trilogy, A Dream Collection, is coming to the Nintendo Switch with Rayman, Rayman 2 The Great Escape, and Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc, there's plenty of platforming chaos to be had. Remastered graphics, improved controls, and much more will make this the way to play Rayman anytime, anywhere. And by scanning compatible amiibo, Rayman will change his look in-game to match the character, and for those of you with an art side, a Rayman creator will allow you to create your own custom Rayman design. By scanning the new Rayman amiibo, you can save this new design and bring it to a friend's house, allowing you to play as your Rayman even when you don't have your Switch. Stay awake for the Dreamy Rayman Trilogy, a Dream Collection, and the Rayman Amiibo when they come out later this year. Headline, A Legendary Adventure Grezzo is back with The Legend of Zelda Link's Reawakening. Revisit a new Koho Lint Island with new dungeons, items, side quests, and more on Nintendo Switch. This title is still undergoing a lot of major changes, so we can't talk a lot about that now. We are glad to say it has a September 2019 release, so look out for this refreshing adventure then. Headline, A Spooky Vacation Here's the brand new look at the new Luigi's Mansion Hotel of Horrors. Luigi, Mario, Princess Peach, Professor E. Gad, and Toad find themselves offered a mysterious free vacation at a hotel, but all is not as it seems. Overnight, the others are captured by the ghosts of the hotel, led once more by the frightening King Boo. It's up to Luigi to save his friends with Egad's new Poltergust G00. Throughout the hotel, Luigi will fight dangerous boss ghosts that will test his worth, but completing these will allow him to rescue one of the others. Upon rescue, they'll team up with Luigi and bring new abilities to explore the hotel with. Don't be scared though, Luigi is still the star. It's just dangerous to go alone after all. All this and more when Luigi's Mansion Hotel of Horrors sucks up your time on April 23rd. Headline, The Quiet Life. Animal Crossing is all about the quiet life and that's what's coming in Animal Crossing Back to Basics. For this installment of the beloved series, plenty of changes were made to provide the best new experience possible. Players will take part in a community board where each will be allowed to take on individual public work projects in the name of the city's mayor and new vice mayor, Tortimer and Isabel. Main Street has been moved into the town for faster access and similar stores have been condensed. The newly formed Summer Haven is a warm forest reserve headed by the outdoorsman Harvey. Here you'll be able to interact with villagers that are taking a vacation both from your town and beyond. You'll also be able to catch rare bugs here. You can also buy furniture and other goodies with the Meow coupons. This time, Meow coupons are given by the villagers for doing favors and keeping the town clean. Keep them happy. In Nook's homes, you can now perform renovations to your Switch and change its appearance at the same time. Now, your encyclopedia of fish, bugs, and fossils will note which species have been donated to the museum for easy collecting. 
We'd love to show you more, but we gotta keep a few secrets, so stay tuned for more Animal Crossing information as it nears a Fall 2019 window. That's all the headlines for Nintendo Switch. How was that? Thanks for watching. With the Nintendo Switch and 3DS families, we hope to make 2019 a year full of mystical adventures, intense battles, endless exploration, and above all, fun. All of these titles and more will be hitting the Nintendo Switch and 3DS this year, so I hope you're looking forward to them. Goodbye. So now that we've gone over the entire post, let's talk about it a little bit. So guys, the first thing that I want to say is just wow. This is definitely one of, if not the longest leaks that we have ever covered, so if this is fake, I just want to know why did someone decide to type all of this stuff out, like, that is insane. Now, for some reason, I think that this leak is probably going to end up being real, and that's because this leak actually has 6,484 views already. People are taking this as something that might end up happening, so right away, all of this stuff does make a lot of sense, and once again, I feel like no one would go through the trouble of posting this entire leak just for their 15 minutes of fame. It does not make a lot of sense to me. So yeah guys, like I said, at this point I do believe that this leak is real because once again I don't think that anybody would go through all of this trouble just to get their 15 minutes of fame. Once again that doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So as of now, I am going to say that this leak is going to end up being real. However guys, let me know what you think about this leak in the comment section down below. Do you guys believe that this league is real and would you be happy if it was? Why or why not? Also let me know what your favorite game or any bit of information on this league was. Personally for me it was probably Sonic Wii Mastered because definitely playing Sonic in the Black Knight again on the Nintendo Switch sounds like a great time to me because I love that game. It wasn't very good but once again I love Sonic in the Black Knight so I think it'd be awesome. Anyways guys. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, share, and like, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.